Blog Talk Radio. Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. this presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. All right. Never heard unmuted. It's all good. Hey, everybody. It's Jimmy Mack coming to you live out of the Tampa Bay area of Florida. Hope everybody is well. We're glad everybody is here tonight. And uh, every week we endeavor to bring you an awesome show. And, of course, it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we're glad everybody joined us here tonight. So, And always look for the replay all after this. If you write to info at jimmymachealing.com, send you that link as well in case you were on the show tonight and or wanted to uh, remember some of the information that was given, you can always re-listen to it. The other thing I would say is if we do talk about somebody's issue in finance or we improve something, let's say with their health or well-being, relationship, what have you, you can also benefit from that as well. And just by listening to this, uh, certainly the good vibes and all of it go out. So just know that as well. Uh, Tomorrow, a few announcements. Tomorrow at 3.30 p.m., I will be on Charlotte Spicer's radio show. We always try and do the first Wednesday of every month. That'll be 3.30 tomorrow. Uh, you can just Google Charlotte Spicer or email us info at jimmymachealing.com. It's Spiritual Insights is the name of her blog talk show. It is on blog talk and iHeart and every other station there is. Um, and so you can look up Spiritual Insights with Charlotte Spicer. That will be live tomorrow at 3.30. That's an hour-long show, just like mine. And we both take uh, live callers, of course, for healing and messages and whatnot. So stay tuned for that as well. We do have Wednesday tomorrow. We are going to uh, drop our new audio MP3. We're excited about that. It's called Body Scan Head to Toe. And uh, for those of you that don't know, we've got a lot of audio MP3s, about 25 of them in the library thus far. And they're on everything from travel to the holidays to family to maybe issues with pain, uh, what have you, a little bit of every topic you could think of all driven by spirit and this most recent one of course is called body scan head to toe where i actually will take a little trip with you through your body starting obviously at your head and winding up down at your toes and so if you have some unexplained issue or something that you've had five mris for 10 meds and 14 doctors and they still kind of shrug their shoulders this is going to be the audio mp3 for you so by all means, get on our mail list. Again, it's info at jimmymachealing.com. If you're already on it, we love you. We appreciate you. You know what's going on. You can find out a whole bunch uh, more about us. I say us because it's my heavenly realm. <laughs> With uh, the YouTube channel or jimmymachealing.com or by tuning into this every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. By all means, please call in. You definitely want to uh, get in tonight's show, of course, for free readings, free healings, free messages from spirit. The phone number is 713-955-0594. You do have to press 1 to raise your hand and be recognized by our producer. Also, we really kindly ask that you come up with one question only. It can be about relationships, maybe a challenge uh, that is a health issue money, your job, uh, whatever's going on in your world, that's fine. Uh, Just don't combine it into nine things in one question. So 
Uh, and you know what I'm saying. We love you. So, <laughs> hey, without further ado, we're excited about tonight's special guest. I always like to have a co-host with me. It just makes it more fun, I think, for me. It certainly enriches the show for everyone else. And tonight's special guest is Barbara Patron. And Barbara is a spiritual medium, Reiki master, and she's the author of Shh, I Hear Them Talking. How cool is that for a title, folks? She's also an animal advocate, of course, and a radio host of her own show. And her show is called Crossed Over Connections. How cool is that? We'll get into that as well. Her website is uh, HTTPS, of course. I guess that's semicolon forward slash forward slash crossed over connections dot w e b s dot c o m. For more of that, you can find her on Facebook, of course, and the page is F L Medium Five Six. If you punch that into Facebook, that'll come up as well. And so we're excited to have her on the show. It's our first time on the show. Hey, Barbara, how are you tonight? Uh, believe it or not, nervous as ever. <laughs> Oh, well, don't be nervous, honey. We have fun. (laughs) We just play. (laughs) Well, you know, we we, we laugh because I always have control of everything, and I think that I don't have control of that, and it's like anxiety filled. I'll be okay, though. Let me just get used to it, buddy. (laughs) Well, welcome. You know, I... Listen, today today is my youngest son's birthday, and I I told him, you know, instead of what you're feeling isn't stress and fear, it's excitement. So oh, I think people, yeah. yeah, mix that up a lot of times. They're like, I'm so stressed, I'm so fearful, and they're doing nine things on this one particular day, and I'm like, no, you're just excited. So it's all good. Well, the energy so, is strong, too. The energy is yeah. really strong. So yeah. I'm anxious excited, and thank you so much for having me Absolutely. up here. Absolutely. Oh, well, how do we do this? Are here, honey. What do we do? <laughs> oh, gosh, we're going to take some callers, honey, and uh, I always let the ladies go first, so I'm going to let you go first, spend three to five minutes with somebody, and, you know, then if you've had enough of them or they've had enough, then uh, you can flip them over to me, and if I find something from Spirit, we'll go from there. Sound fun? Yeah, good to me. Awesome. You and you're, you tell folks more about you, honey, just briefly. we got some folks with their hands up already, of course, wanting questions, but... Uh, Give folks the basic best way to get a hold of you because they're going to want to get private readings after this, obviously. So well, what's the, the, best the best website or email to get a hold of you, honey? Well, the best way to get a hold of me is at flmedium56 at gmail.com. It's, it's Florida Medium, but it's FL, medium56. Okay. But, okay. Um, no, I mean, I, I'm just one big bundle I I talk to those on the other side, and I'm a big animal advocate. That's my passion. And Love that. I really feel that God gave this to me because he knew that somebody had to take care of the animals, and I was one of the ones he picked. That's why I feel like I, I have love this. That. And for his people, because I do give healing to people, but animals are my passion. And, sure. um, oh, my God, I can't explain to you. I just had something really off the wall happen today. And even though I've been doing this for about 20 years, y'all understand something? I have seen and heard when I was little, but I didn't converse with anybody until 1995. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, ever since from now then, it's just, I still sit here and wonder, is it, you know, what am I doing? I can't believe this. I get shocked. So. Right. Wow. Okay, Jimmy, Love let's it. take away with this because. They're, they're all, I mean, I'm telling you, spirit, sometimes, sometimes spirit is very, very, well, how can I say it, pushy, pushy, pushy. I got a sister yeah. passed over. I got a grandmother on a mother's side passed over. I got a daddy that says, let me in, let me in. So <laughs> I love you got to find out who belongs to who. Oh, that's fabulous, honey. No, that's all good stuff. And uh, I, I work on Ooh. animals all over the world, and I got to. Big fat black cat with green eyes, and he runs this house. So Aww. he's a trip. He, he thinks he's a little dog. He's a reincarnated little dog. I have to leave all the doors propped open. You can't close any doors because he runs and charges them and to get in the room. He jumps up on them, pushes them open, and he's just Aww. a character. Yeah, he well, licks me to go outside. He he he'll he'll just barely bite me when he's hungry. He's really quite funny. Nothing like it. You know something. I mean, people don't understand this, 
But do you know God made animals before he made man? Do you know that? He made there animals you go. before man. And if you look at any picture of God, he's got an animal with him. Whether it's a lamb or a bird or whatever, that, that was his thing. And he made man to take care of them. But as you see, you know, we got some we don't. But I do want to say one thing is very important to me. I just started something just recently. I do a lot. I do a come on, Barbara, don't stop now. I do a YouTube channel. It's called Scratching Florida Lotto for Pet Rescue. And my husband oh, and wow. I, my husband and I, we do videos and we scratch Florida Lotto tickets. Anything fifty below that we win goes back into the channel so we get more tickets. Anything above, we split half with a pet rescue, you know, whatever. And, I mean, even if we get the $7 million one, it's half. And that, and right now we're doing a contest, which is over right now. We're going to be doing another one. But please look that up because we need subscribers. And that yeah. the more money we can get for these animals. And that's something we just started doing. And it's amazing. It's my baby. Ooh, I love that. Thank you, no, that's a great thing. Yeah, that's fantastic, honey. I love thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, we're glad you're here, honey. That's fabulous. And yeah, like I said, I work on animals all over the world and uh just always uh have been an animal person growing up. Uh you know, just, just love them, love them. They make me laugh and uh, you know, I I communicate so deeply with them, of course. And they're really simple. I mean, you can tell folks that, too. You know, they're like, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I want to lay down, I'm tired, I love you, whatever. And mine in particular, you can really laugh over, um, is uh, I always ask Spirit, I'm talking to him, and I'm saying, you know, are you loving on me right now if he's laying on my chest or whatever? And he's like, no, I'm letting you love on me. Aww. Isn't that hysterical? I just think that's so funny. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Isn't that a riot? You know, and so. you know, I tell people too, if you ever want to know how how good a person is, if they love animals, there's nothing wrong with that person. That person is the best person to be around. But if, if you ever hear anybody say, I just don't like animals, I just da 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 da, seriously, stay away. Because their heart cannot hold an animal, it can't hold anything else. And that is my way to, it's like a little kicker for people. So if you say you don't like animals, I ain't got time for you. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. You've moved, you've moved on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Lord, that. Oh, oh that's you. awesome. Well, we're glad you're here, honey. We're going to grab some callers and keep it stirred up, okay? Thank you. You're blessing me so much. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, oh, you bet. Thank you. 310 is our first caller. Hi, 310. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Cecilia, and I'm calling from Luxor, Egypt. Oh, wow. And I'm, visit- okay. <laughs> I'm visiting Welcome. here now, and I wanted to know, thank you, if there are any, uh, you know, you. different guides around me that might be helping me here, and if so, what are they helping me with? All right, Cecilia, how are you? Um, it's so funny when you said you're here visiting. It's so funny because I heard – she, she would really like to stay here. It's not that you don't love where you're at. It's just that there's opportunities here that you want, that you would like to do, that you can't get back home. And if you're entertaining that desire, you should really try to do what you can because the universe is pulling you for your next part of your life to be here. So, I mean, you don't have to live here but you have to do something here. Does that make sense to you? Um, no, I'm not really sure of any direction to go in. So if you have any information, I'm open to it, but I don't know what direction to go in. Well, that's what it is. That's what I was just saying, that they, they're, like, pulling you here to the state. Okay? They're pulling you here. You, oh, to, to the, the state, fall. not to Egypt? I'm, no, I'm just – there's opportunities here that need you. Um, what is medical with you? I, I feel there's medical with you. 
Um, I'm not sure. I had hives a few um, recently, and then today it was um, as if there was a pinched nerve. I don't know if there's anything else maybe I'm not aware of. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I don't know if there's something medical with you, but it's being brought over to here. Um, Wow. There's an older lady standing beside you. Do you have a grandmother passed over on your mom's side? Yeah. An older lady, a mother figure on your mom's side. Yes, Ella. Thank you, Jesus. Would that be, mom, that'd be your grandma? Yes. Okay. She's right beside you, and I don't see her very tall. She's kind of short in that, and she's yeah. like giving you big hugs. And she says, please, listen to your heart. She says, you need to start learning how to do that just a little bit better because what happens, you try to listen to your head, and your head is steering you wrong because what you do, she says, she looked at me and she says she's very, very precise of what she needs to do, and she kind of don't like to hold or, you know, let go of security. But if you felt with your heart, Cecilia, you would do so many, many better things. You would do so many more right things. Because your heart, only God, the other side, and angels talk in your heart. They're the ones who bring you to places. They're the ones who tug you. And you really need to sit down with your heart and say, what do I really want to do? There's your answer right there. But your grandma says, here in the state, there's so many opportunities for you here, and you should check them out. I mean, she knows you love home, but there's opportunities here that would be far more greater. So no, my home that, is the States. I'm just visiting Egypt. Okay, but I want to just say there's so much more here. Okay. So I don't know if you want to stay over there or not. There's so much more here. No, I'm just visiting here. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Just yeah, I definitely uh, I definitely see you back in the States, honey, uh, 310s out of Los Angeles anyway. I recognize that number, of course. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, what is it you're interested in as far as your direction in life and what do you want to do next? It's really cool that you can go visit Egypt and we're thrilled to have you call folks call in from all over the world. So it's really, it's exciting. What is your focus now? Are you just traveling? What would you like to um, do? I'm, re- I'm, um, I'm retired, but, um, before I retired about 10 years ago, I was guided to just follow spirit. So I've been traveling for eight and a half years, going wherever spirit guided me to go. So I don't I have that. a technical home. Um, but I do feel like I'm, I'm here in Egypt for a reason. And, mm. and, you know, as I felt like all the other places. But ultimately, mm-hmm. of course, I'll go back to the States. But right now, I'm, I'm here and feeling as if there's a specific reason for me to be here. Yeah, I, just, I basically get uh, one, two, three, four, you, five lifetimes ago you were there, honey, just so you know. So makes sense. And uh, I'm asking them, man or woman. You were a woman into five lifetimes ago. They're just saying you almost are like visiting the homeland, if you will. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of weird places you're seeing they almost recognize you're having deja vu all over again. Definitely see you coming back to the States, though. When I ask them about your hives and your body, just so you know, I run through a list. My basic list would be like bacteria, virus, mold, fungus, mildew, yeast, candida, negatation, and parasites. And so the only thing you have is parasites right now. That's what you're experiencing the hives over. So I would highly recommend that you get a parasite cleanse when you can. You can Google all that, read about it, or shoot me an email, info at jimmymackhealing.com. I'll send you uh, what it's all I like. I don't sell product, but I certainly recommend people do their own research and do some different things. Make sense? Yes. Yep. We'll have you stand up right now so you can feel the energy all the way in Egypt. How about that? Can you figure out which way is due north? (laughs) Uh, Yes, I can. Okay, so stand up, strong mountain pose and yoga. You want to have your feet about hip width apart. Going to pull you forward for yes and push you backwards for no. So we're going to be brave and just say, I have parasites, and you'll feel the pull forward. You can say it out loud. I have parasites.
and you'll feel a little tug forward, similar to a pendulum or a movement. Forward, back, or in between? How does it feel to you? Um, I'm feeling a pulling, but it's actually on the right side in the okay. upper shoulder. Yeah, so that's more controlled stuff, so I'm going to take that out for you, too. We're going to take out the hives, also the parasites, so it's going to pull you backwards. I'm changing it now. Sway backwards, and we're releasing it now. You can tell folks what you're feeling Since it's a live radio show Last thing we want is silence <laughs> Okay um, yep. I'm aware that it feels like The immune system Is being um, Assisted In, in release Yep There you go and you should feel a pull backwards when that releases. So it feels like a sway, just like you felt the pull to the right, which is control for me. Left is abandonment. But this should be pulling you back right now. Still feeling the pulling in the right shoulder yep. on the right side. Yep. yep. It's funny. Um, almost as if. Let's see, they're saying if you would turn, um, it would be due west. If you'll turn to your due west, it'll pull you straight back. How funny is that? Okay. I'm due west. So try that. There you go. Now it's going to pull you east. Okay, now I'm east. Feels like it's pulling you east, right? I'm changing directions as you're speaking. Okay. Okay. So if you face due west, it's going to feel like somebody's pulling you backwards towards the east. Okay. There you go. Make sense? Yes. Awesome. We appreciate you calling in all the way from Egypt. How cool is that? I'm always fascinated by technology. I'm sure you are too, Barbara. It's like, how cool is it that we could talk to somebody in Egypt tonight on the show, oh, right? Yeah. So I know. I'm like a little kid with all that. I'll, I'll never, I'll never not be amazed by that. I just think it's so yeah, cool. I remember, the worst... I remember getting on the phone. My mother would say, "That better not be long distance." Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I love it. Thing. Sure. Uh, uh, your grandma keeps talking about a ring. It, it's like a, it's like, she calls it a bobble. But do you have a ring that's kind of like got a little gem on it or a big gem or whatever? I have many mm-hmm. rings. <laughs> what color is it? Huh? Does she oh say God. what color? I, have I don't many. want to see like a greenish color or whatever. But she calls it a bobble because it's got a really big stone in it. But she said that's her favorite one when you wear it. And I don't know if it has something special meaning, but I'm drawing a picture of it right here. It's just like a, I don't know, like a greenish tint to it, like um, amethyst or whatever. It's just big. It's not a little bitty stone. It's a big bubble. She says bubble. But anyway, no. wherever this ring is, wherever <laughs> you wear this ring, Grandma's, that's when you shift when her pull is to you. Okay. I will Very certainly clear. keep that in mind. All right. Thank you, please. So, Thanks for calling in, honey. We Ohio. appreciate it. You bet. Bye-bye. Thank you. So cool. Bye for now, honey. Love that. How cool is that to call in from Egypt, right? I know. I know. Yeah. I'll always be amazed. I'm like a little kid, but I think it's cool. So. <laughs> Love it. Oh, 818 is our next caller. Hey, Carolyn in California, how are you tonight? I'm doing great. How are both of you doing? Oh, we're doing good, honey. Thank you. I understand it's pouring down rain and thunderstorms out of Blog Talk area in New York and also Reverend Tiffany's neck of the woods, Connecticut. Uh, but it's oh. always mesmerizing. We're in Florida and you're in L.A. and we just hung up with Egypt. How weird is that? And I know. I talked to right? a lot. We're just yeah. going around the world tonight quickly, honey. 
Did you have a question yeah. for Barbara Spirit? Yes, I do. First, I want to know how to spell her last name. How do you spell your last name, Barbara? P E T R O N T R O N T. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, my question is: What is the next step in my spiritual journey? The next step in your spiritual journey? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I know one thing. Your mom's passed over it, and she. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. This lady just bounded over, and she says, "Let me over here. Got to hurt the baby girl. Got to hurt the baby girl." <laughs> she gave you a big hug, and I feel really church with her. And oh, yes. A really, really nice pose because she came over all dressed up in that, but I feel it's a churchy thing to her. Um, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So proud of you. So proud of you. I know that's the, you know, thing. So proud of you. But here's the thing. She says she needs you to start taking more time for you. Right. Because she says okay. you spend every day, every waking moment, doing things for other people, which is so nice, so good for yourself. She's just kind of calmed down a little bit. And I see, I don't know if you're planning on a vacation or just getting away for a little bit soon, but she says, please go on it. Have you been kind of contemplating about wanting to go somewhere? Like, yeah, just for a yeah. little bit? I was thinking about visiting my sister in Bakersfield. Okay, because here's what's going on. This trip that she's talking about, she says, yes. don't let nothing stop you from it because it's going to be an eye-opener. You're going to get some answers in your life, and it's going okay. to give you like a little cleanse because you need a cleanse. You need to kind of go refresh yourself somewhere. And I'm hoping okay. so much that it's going to be near water. I know yeah. California is near water, but it's going to be near water where you can just sit and just enjoy. There's going to be an eye opener. It's going to be some questions that you've been wanting to get answered. So okay. Don't let nothing, you know, take you away from that. But she says, kind of do a little bit more for you. It's not selfishness. But she says, you know, you, you've done everything you could. It's it's you time now. And a lot of people right. understand sometimes it's you time in that. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I heard that. Thank you, Jesus. But just so proud. And she wanted she she wanted you to know thank you to her that but she wanted you to notice her outfit and it's the prettiest blue. It's got these nice oh. little silver buttons on. Let me explain. It's got really silver buttons on it and the hat matches the outfit. That's beautiful. So okay. she wants you to understand that. And another thing too, I don't know how you believe this is what they show me. She said, You are not gonna believe where I live. She said I got the prettiest little house. And your dad's with her? Huh. Hello? You, yes. You say uh, she has the prettiest little house and what else? No, are your dad's with her? Because she's talking yes. about your dad? Yes, he's over there. And she says that well, this is what they do. They both sit on this big, huge porch, and they just watch. Mm-hmm. They lost the birds and everything else. But your dad does a lot of yard work. He likes to plant mm-hmm. things. So I don't yes. know what he did in his life, but I feel that's what he did in his life. He just loved to make the yard pretty in that. And she yeah. said, I just didn't want you to make the yard pretty. Yes, he liked that. He liked a uh, like, uh, like uh, pretty yard. What she's trying to do is give you a vision of where she's at. She's I'm not floating on no clouds. I'm not on the ground. I'm, I'm in my own house. And she says, and this is what we do. But she says, everything's waiting for you when it's your turn. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, okay. I heard that. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I heard okay. that. Please take more time for you. And if you do that, then things are going to start coming to you because it's your time. And go uh, on that trip. Good. Go on that trip. Okay, I will. Thank you Thank for you the Jesus. message. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. You. How are you that feeling, is. Carolyn? I feel good. So far, you so good. sound good. good. Yeah, energetically, yeah, when I look at everything right now, honey, it's feeling fantastic. So that's I'm great. Better and better. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love yeah. that. Well, you tune in here every week, right? You're picking up on some of what we're laying down. I love it. <laughs> yes, I'm catching all the healing. I'm catching everything good and spiritual. I love that. Thank you. 
That's fantastic. Yeah, thank yeah, and thanks for calling in, honey. And you you remind me of uh, so many folks who call in. They go, Jimmy, just scan my body. Just read me. And so we made an audio MP3 that comes out tomorrow just for those folks that say that. So it's about a half hour long. You may want to look at that when it comes out, honey, and go head to toe through the whole body doing clearings. It's about a half hour long, and uh, uh, it's called Body Scan Head to Toe. So look for that to come that. out. And uh, Yeah, keep us posted. We, we're thrilled you tune in every week, honey. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, you bet. Have a good Have one. a great night, honey. Yeah. And thank Love you it. again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye for now, honey. 714 okay. is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 714, you're on live. Yes, hi. My name is Charmaine. How are you doing today, Jimmy and Barbara? Oh, hey. good. How are you tonight, honey? I'm doing wonderful. Good. You have a question for Barbara? I do. You know, um, since yesterday, I keep seeing this Wonder Woman, and I just want to know what does this message mean? What is my guys oh, or my family is trying to tell me? Oh, my God. You're not going to believe this, uh, Jimmy. You're not going to believe this. Oh, my God. I wish I could have talked first. I'm sitting here drawing, and I was going to ask the next caller, what's with a superhero? Dad, dad, dad. Superhero with me. Love it. Oh, yeah. my God. And I hate this, but I can't prove it. But it's right here. It's right here. I've, oh, and I truly God. believe you. Thank you, Jesus. I was just going to ask you, what's the superhero with you? Now ask your question again. I mean, I'm just okay. over again. Okay, my question, is, I'm, my question is, why do I keep seeing Wonder Woman? What is the message that's letting me know? Oh, Lord or what is, what is my guy trying to tell me? That, whoever showed me that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got one, two. I got two women just coming over. They're both together. So I don't know. Yes, if it's mom and sister. I don't know if it's mom and sister or mom and mom, but they just came right over, and they're looking at you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you have an aunt passed over on your mom's side, um, it's, it's both my grandparents, with my grandmothers. Okay, because they both came over here. But here's the thing: Wonder Woman was a very strong woman. Wonder yes. Woman, she fought the, the enemy. You know, I mean, she she did everything for the good of the kind. That's what I'm getting at because they want me to mention superhero to you. If you know what that is? That's you. You are seeing you. That is you. And they're trying to show you this is you. This is this this is what you do for people. This is how people look at you. Because sometimes they look at you and say, How did she go through that? How does she do this? I mean, they just shake their heads at you. And you just don't ever give it up. Don't ever give it up. It's just, if you're seeing yourself, and sometimes, I don't know if Jimmy has ever um, got this to himself, but you, you, sometimes we can see ourselves. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a reflection. So when you look at yourself, you see Wonder Woman. She okay. That is okay. You. That is you. It's nothing bad. It's nothing. It's no spirit guys like that. You're looking at yourself. But they're just, it's okay. just, how can I, there's so much more for you. Oh, my gosh. Um, what's the number four mean for you? Is it a birthday? A, a, um, what's special is the number four? Um, four, I have a son whose birthday was in April. That's the only thing, four. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I know you know the Bible. I, I'm not ripped on the Bible. If I got the word Solomon to you, or Saul, or something mm-hmm. like that, what does that mean to you? Solomon, Solomon. Uh, I don't know. Don't, I don't know. I, mm, Solomon. I to take that with you, and next time you talk to Jimmy, let him know what that is, or text me with it, or whatever. Solomon, or the word Saul, is really big for you in that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And go into the Bible. I know, isn't there something there about Solomon? I want you to read about yes, it. Uh-huh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh-huh. This is really weird for me. Some of the odds of you people, I, I, I don't do this. I don't say this proudly. I just say this to me. I don't read the Bible. But I know okay. stories. I know stories of God. I know they're written by man, da 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 and they're messages. But yes. why I'm directing somebody to read the Bible is really weird to me. But these two women are saying, go read about Solomon. 
and it's going to be answers for you. Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm doing it. First time for me. And uh, you're just so, oh, my gosh, you are just an amazing woman. I could pitch you right now. I could pitch you right now. You're such an amazing woman. I wish, my, my readings are two hours long. And uh-huh. I'm telling you, this is so hard for me, Jimmy, to, to spit this out in two minutes. <laughs> That's all right. It's That's so all right. I love it. I love it. And a lot of it. A lot of a lot of the stuff too, honey, it'll come to folks later. You know what I mean? You may not think of it yes, right now, yes. but it'll definitely come in later. And to okay, me, just... King Solomon is all about wealth too and money. And I do feel okay. like a huge part of you might feel overwhelmed, honey, right now, they're just saying. Uh, but they're they're saying if you put on kind of the, the cloak of Wonder Woman, you can make it through all this one little bit at a yes. time. Does that make sense? Yes. Totally. Totally makes sense, yes. Yes. Yeah. And I'm just telling you what they're whispering in my ear to your people. Uh, I used to hang out. uh, I did all the matrix energetic stuff with Dr. Richard Bartlett. He was really cool. And he used to come out all the time on stage and he'd be wearing either uh, Batman or the Superman outfit. And when I say Batman or Superman, outfit, I don't mean from the costume store. He had the real Hollywood thing. It was probably five or $10,000 kind of thing. And so he, really loved all the superhero stuff and we go to movies every weekend. And so they're really wanting to remind you too to stay out of your head as much as you can and really enjoy fantasy and play and mythical, magical movies and that sort of thing. That'll also mm-hmm. take the edge of all stress because I feel like sometimes nope. you feel so overwhelmed. You don't want to make a decision at all. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. And so therefore you've made a decision, right? So if you uh-huh. sit there and don't do anything, it's going to be made for you. That's just the way it is. So okay. I stay in the okay. Wonder Woman fantasy stuff. I would welcome that. I live in the middle of the city. I see stuff all the time. If I told you everything I heard and saw, they'd lock me up, you know. And that's my joke <laughs> to everybody. But probably a week ago, um, I saw what uh, was a baby fawn out back by my house. And I live in the city and near a stoplight. And there's no way a baby fawn could be behind my house, right? And mm-hmm. so your your call right now is from 714 area code. So that, to me, is always my father saying hello. That was the address of his first business. He's in spirit. And so he was always about soldiering on, and so that's what they're reminding me to tell you. In other words, he okay. would always say, if I can get a clean underwear and undershirt and clean clean clothes for the day, I can make it through the day kind of thing and eat, and I just I, I'll go wow. like mad all day. And so that's kind of you. All you need is like some fresh clothes to put on, a fresh meal, and then like, bam, we just unleash you and you keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Does that make sense? Totally makes sense. That is me. (laughs) Yes, sir. I know. I know. So it's almost like if people didn't remind you to eat or drink or sleep, you wouldn't bother with that either, right? Yes. Yeah. So there you go. let 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 me remind her, though, one more time before she leaves. Let me say yeah. that from now on, when you see Wonder Woman, it's the grandmas are showing showing her yeah, yeah, showing you them for the, they're both talking to you at the same time and they need to go one at a time here, making me sit on myself. The Wonder Woman is you, okay? Okay. So yes. the thing is you're very, very humble. But they yes. want to remind you you're such a great lady. You're such a strong lady. Don't ever let nobody pull you down. Ever let yes. nobody talk you into doing things because you know what to do. You know how to do it. You don't need anybody. You're there for everybody else. So thank that, you for that's the so cool to see yourself. Yeah. Oh Love my that. God. God bless you. God bless thank you. you. God awesome. bless you too. Thanks I for appreciate coming in, that. Honey. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Email us info at jimmymachealing.com anyone that emails us tonight I'm going to send you all of Barbara's contact information for readings and also all my stuff for healings and uh, you know this is all a part of service and we're just here to help everybody and we give it away for free because everybody's going to come back for more so we're, we're thrilled you called in thanks for listening to the show tonight honey okay thank you, yes sir thank you uh, you have a wonderful evening thank you you too uh, bye-bye. thanks again bye for now Nine one zero is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Pamela, and I'm calling from North Carolina. Hey, Pamela, how are you tonight? 
I'm great. Good. You guys uh, survive all the storms and all that, okay? Yeah, we did. Thank God. Love that. Thank God. You have a question for Barbara? Yeah, so I was just wondering if there was any kind of message from my dad that she could pick up on. Okay, before you say anything, I, I was trying to whisper underneath my breath, but I want everybody to hear. Before you came on, sweetie, I was getting 747, but it's a 747 plane. Go, you're talking about your dad, right? What yes. is with you or your dad with a 747 or an airplane or, or traveling? Oh, but nothing comes to mind right now. Okay, because I got 747, so when I ask, is it, is it a read, is it an age, or what is it? If no, I'm seeing planes, I'm seeing traveling in that. Now, your dad, are you kind of doing what he used to do? Thank you, Jesus, I heard that. Are you <laughs> following his footsteps a little bit? Because I feel like there's a really big closeness for you with him. I mean, he just, like, he keeps saying he didn't do enough. But I keep telling him, I said, you know, we all dads think that. He said, I just didn't do enough. He says, but I love her so much. He says, but do you do something almost like dad does, or are you falling in his footsteps? I did pick up a lot of his traits, yes. Okay. But he keeps, keeps saying, I wish I could have did more. But I feel like he worked a lot, or he just wasn't around a lot. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, he did. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. You need to um, really try to figure out, not right now, but find out with the 747 because I asked, are you sure this is for her? And they're just putting it right on you like a big stamp. But if something's going to be a lot with a plane or 747, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So I don't know if you're planning on taking a trip or whatever, but this plane's going to have a lot to do. With something in your life, it's going to be a connection for something. But your dad's the one who brought it. That's why I had to start with something with your dad. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's that's great. It, as long as it's a good thing, <laughs> you know, I'll definitely keep that in mind. No, it's, it's a good thing. And he's showing me money signs around you. So thank you, Jesus, I heard that. I don't know if you're changed a job or if you're going for a job. Or just say, okay, changing your job, but there's something with money, and it's going to be more money. But the thing is, it's going to be kind of slow coming, but then all of a sudden it's going to take like a fast forward, but it's not going to happen until like the first of next year. So I don't know if you're getting settled into something, but keep doing it. Don't stop. Don't let your mind overdo your heart. I feel like it's a job, but I feel like it's travel. Oh, and I'm telling you, when I tell people some things they can't resonate with what I'm saying, they always text me or call me back or whatever. They say, oh, my God. So, I, I, and I'm telling you, I pray before I talk to everybody, and I don't take back nothing I say. Nothing. All right, sweetie? Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, we're happy to hear from you. We're glad you checked in from the great state of North Carolina. and. Gosh, I know that uh, we went through Irma last year, so definitely thought some prayers were with y'all and all that. You know, I'm sure hopefully you weren't hit that bad where you're at, but uh, a lot of places were. So we definitely keep them all in our thoughts and prayers. So anything we can help you with else tonight for healing or you're doing pretty good? Um, it's, I really kind of have adrenal fatigue. Okay. Well, stand up. Let's rock it out. Face due north. Okay. In position. Awesome. I would just own it. Say I have adrenal fatigue, and you'll feel the pull forward for yes. I have adrenal fatigue. Okay. I got the pull. Yeah. And I'm going to release it, resolve it, delete it, disentangle and uncollapse the waves and fields to it. Pull her straight back when you've released it. Thank you. And that was quick. Awesome. I love that. And a lot of times, too, if I check in with them on you, viral bacteria, mold, fungus, mildew, yeast, candida, negative pathogen, parasites, uh, you got a touch of parasites as well. Very common. 
Um, you know, you can have the Mexican uh, salad and eat the lettuce that wasn't washed or go to the farmer's market and have a piece of fruit and you wind up with parasites. Sushi is just the devil. So um, just saying. Plus, you've had mosquitoes and all kinds of stuff where you're at going through all that, but you definitely have a touch of parasites. Uh, again, I don't sell anything as far as product goes, but I recommend a lot of things. If you just email me, I'll send you a parasite protocol you can read about and then do your own research and maybe take some of that. And that's a huge part of your adrenal fatigue right now, by the way. So, okay. make sense? Very inexpensive, doesn't take that long. You'd feel like a million bucks much later, okay. uh, you know, a couple, three weeks down the road. Okay? Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for calling in tonight, honey. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay, uh, seven, I appreciate you. Seven, you bet. 727 is our next caller. Hey, that's from our neck of the woods. How are you tonight? We know you're in Florida. <laughs> Hello. Hi, seven two seven. Yeah, you're on live. How are you? Hey, Jimmy. It's Camille. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, Camille. How are you tonight? Glad you called in, honey. Yeah, uh, doing a little better this evening. Oh, good. Was, you have a question for Barbara? Crazy. You want Barbara to pick up on what's going on? Sure. Yeah, that would be great. So just a snapshot, or maybe I should just have you yeah, heal. Yeah, give her, that'd be great. Give her a snapshot. Um, I don't know, maybe three years. I've just it's had strangeness with work, two major breakups, mental, verbal, <laughs> emotional abuse. I quit smoking yeah. and started again. Weight gain, finances are crazy, and now psychic attacks at work. And I always send love to everyone. I give with earnest. I stay in integrity. I have a, everything I need. So I don't understand what this cycle is and when it's going to stop. <laughs> well, it's, it's really, 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 really strange here because, first of all, i got to pick up on relationships. Let me tell you how I see what's going on, and then we'll go back and we'll talk to me going to do this. But what I'm saying I am very big on negative and positive, whether you cause it or somebody else causes it, but I'm feeling around you is negativity. Are you listening? Uh, Can you understand what I'm saying? I keep hearing clicking, so I don't know if we're getting off or not. I'm here. I tell people when there's negativity around you, you have to some way step away from it. you got to step away from it because... If you have too much negativity in your life, positive can't flow. So whether it's relationship, you got to get away. Whether it's at work, you got to get away. You got to get away from it. And it's usually the universe saying, "We're done with this. This is this is over with now." Or you're gonna have to tweak it. So you got to sit with yourself. And I always tell people, you got to sit with yourself, and you got to discuss things with yourself. And when I say with yourself, it's with your heart. But as long as you enable negativity in your life, that's what's going to happen. It's going to affect everything around you because it sticks with you and it causes the people around you or the things around you to go wrong. I hope I'm explaining this right to you if you're understanding it. But I got a relationship before you called. I didn't know if it belonged to you or the next caller, but I feel that that's over. I mean, I yeah. really do. I think it's over. And, I mean, it is. It's, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. And some people don't like change. They're afraid to or anything like that. But you've got so much to give. And they're just kind of saying it's it's time to move on because you have such positive stuff coming. And I tell people, I guarantee you, if you can get rid of whatever's negative in your life, the other things start falling into, people, in, into place. It's it's so easy. I live this every day. I, I live it every day. Sometimes it's hard to get rid of stuff or people or whatever, but you have to. It's negative. Does that make sense, Jimmy? It does to me, honey. Yeah. And I think it's spot on. I just feel like, uh, Camille, it feels like you're running through a uh, – they're just showing me Star Wars, and it's like we came out of uh, – light speed into an asteroid field so it feels pretty bumpy of a ride 
but I do feel yep. like you're going to get back out of it here in the next like two weeks, believe it or not. So that's a pretty oh, short duration God. for all that we've been through. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just telling you what there was for in my ear. So when I asked them, that's about how long, but let's, why don't you stand up love and let's rock some stuff out real quick. Okay. Yes. I and mean, I've been doing face. praying nonstop. Yeah. Well, just face due north. I'm going to take it all off of you right now. We'll just do a bigger prayer. So we're going to believe, think, know, and feel, be ready, willing, and able, know when we're how and why to disentangle and uncollapse all this negativity that flows in around and through her now, surrender it out to the void, pull her straight back when you've released it all. Thank you. It went fast. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. My my friend my friend of decades told me the other day, he said, I think you're actually getting better at this. I said, Really? You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. That that's his backhanded compliment, of course. So isn't that funny? So that's how fast we can change stuff. And, you know, I just turn hard left. Um, you know, in other words, I might read my astrology on the internet and then in the newspaper and then a third one and I'm going to take the best one so I'm not even kidding so that's kind of the way you got to look at it and you know you want somebody that will come to stay and everybody else can just stay away uh if you're like me and I believe you're Sagittarius but you know there's either the worker Sag or the lazy Sag and every Sag I've ever met has been from the workers you're from non-stop you always got something going on makes sense yes yeah, so just know that they're just showing me the Energizer Bunny, and you're just never going to stop. So you are going to get past this asteroid field, if you will, and things are going to get better. And I mean, like in like two weeks flat, this is all going to just fall down around you at your feet. So, Amen. I receive it. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Gosh, we're so glad you called in tonight, honey. Thanks for listening to Thank the show for too. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Anytime uh, we can help you, you know we will, honey. We're here every Tuesday night at 9, okay? Thank you, Jimmy and Barbara, and God bless you. Yeah, bless you. You You as well, honey. Thank you for listening. Gosh. Barbara, did it fly by? Did the whole show fly by? It seemed like five minutes to you. That's the way it is to me, too. And it's so weird, too, because I didn't know when you were going to end this, because I had a, a, a male come over. He's a son. And he said, I just wanted to say hi to my mom. So I know you don't have more time for anybody else, I guess. Somebody oh, yeah, no, I'll take, that. I'll take that. That's my brother talking about uh, my mother. So that's me, definitely, well, all day long. He came over, he said, I just want to tell him I'm fine, I'm doing good, but it's a male, and he wasn't sick. He says, I was just here, I'm not here. And boom, boom, boom. So nobody expected him to die. Now, is that that brother? Yep, that's him. Yeah, nobody expected him to die because he was always into drugs and alcohol. He was gorgeous. I tell everybody he looked like Tom Tom Cruise, only taller, you know. And he was a good-looking kid. And uh, yeah, he was 28 years old, died of drugs and drugs and alcohol, OD. So it must have been for you because since that was the last caller, and nobody else wanted to. Yeah. Please tell my mom I'm fine. I'm doing I know. Fine. I know. I oh, love that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, my my father's in spirit now too, and his mother, my mother, still alive. Uh, she's yep. a little Christmas Jesus baby. She's uh, she'll be ninety Christmas Day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what, she's what a trip. She's still a pistol. So yeah, and so I know uh, he loved his mama boy. He loved his dad too. Uh, oh, yeah. you know, he, he was really close with our dad, uh, but he really loved his, his mama, my mama. So it's really, well, uh, know, it's refreshing to hear. Definitely well, spot on. Talking. When you're talking, I just saw the mail and he says, you know, I, I just tell my mom I'm okay. I knew it was a son of somebody, but he said, tell him yep. I wasn't sick for validation. And then, yep. so thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. I wish I had more time with you. You are. I know. It flies by, doesn't it? Amazing. Did you? You know what? I, I ask everybody. Did you have fun? I had fun, and I want you Good. on my show. So you need to text me. Because you I want let you me on know when, show. honey. Yeah, Anytime. I love it. Yeah. Anytime. Just let me know. Well, definitely. Yeah, we'll rock it out, love. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Appreciate so much. you being on live, honey. 
folks. Uh, yeah, we're going to, as my father would say, we're going to wind this thing down. I want to thank Barbara for being on the show tonight, especially, of course, uh, and gosh, reach out to us. Just email me, uh, info at jimmymachealing.com. We will write you back with all of our information, and I'm going to give you all of Barbara's information. You're going to want to go deeper, folks, in a reading with her. Of course, she'll do phone in person in Florida, whatever works for you. And, uh, you know, so reach out. We'll give you all her website information, email, phone number, all of it. And uh, we appreciate her being on the show. Stay tuned again, uh, of course, tomorrow, uh, to Wednesday and Friday. I'm always at uh, kodawariyoga.com. Uh, look that up if you're in the Tampa Bay area. You have to call them direct to schedule an appointment with me. Be glad to have sessions there for healing readings and all of it. And uh, also tomorrow at 3.30 p.m., uh, I will be live with uh, my buddy, Charlotte Spicer. And that's the Spiritual Awakenings radio show. And uh, that's been going on for about, gosh, uh, 12, 13 years now. So it's a really good show to tune into as well. So if we didn't get to you tonight, free readings and healings tomorrow, Spiritual Awakenings on Blog Talk. You can Google it, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of course, uh, out of Orlando is where that comes from. So keep us posted, folks, and we love you. We appreciate you listening, and uh, let's stay in touch and stay tuned uh, for the next show. I want to wish everybody that the rest of your life will be the best of your life and remember to make progress every day. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>